Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm here. Hey, <laughs> I have my my uh, healing companions here. Ulfred, Ulfred, relax. I'm a German Shepherd and he's a little doggy blue dog here. My healing companion, so they've been sort of great company, keep an eye over me as I've been sort of yeah, in this healing process here. But um, it's now day four or five, so it's like surgery was Friday. Today's Tuesday, so it's four slash five, five or whatever. Um, and uh, it's going well, going really good. I'm sort of quite surprised, actually. Um, uh, one of my big worries going into this year, what what was going to be like post -sur surgery, um, just because what, what I was reading and research and stuff like that. You know, I guess sort of <laughs> some of that too is like sort of going in. I like to sort of know what to expect, but you never really know what to expect on 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 until you, you do it. Um. And uh, from all accounts, it was sounding like, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a, it, it's a decent surgery, all right. And, um, you know, they're doing a lot in there. And sort of looking at the scar post-surgery and stuff like that, it's like, yeah, it wasn't ju 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 just or orthoscopic. It was a mini open as well there too, cutting across here. So pretty much right now, I'm just sort of, yeah, relaxing in the recliner. Um, I have the, just my... Um, sling there but it's more more just if i'm up, up out and about i'll put the sling on but but as i'm sitting here i can sort of re rest it but just sort of exercise that elbow so it doesn't get get too stiff but um shoulder feels super stable which is great and i just actually read um i got into the my my chart account and was able to read um the surgery report and wow it's and it sort of had like yeah the findings there's actually a lot more in there than I realized. It says that there, there's like a, a type two slap tear, I guess that that's the labrum. Um, torn long head of the biceps tendon. So I think that's where it comes in at the, at the back to the front of the shoulder. And then it said a five centimeter complex rotator cuff tear involving the proximal subscapularis, all of this, all of supra and infraspinatus and the teres minor. So basically every Every rotator cuff tendon on the back of the shoulder was was torn, um, and that sort of explains. I think I described there. It was starting to feel like that. My shoulder would sort of fall forward a little bit, just sort of like just that that it wasn't um, stable, J just the odd time. So that sort of explains that. So if everything w w was ripped along the back, then that that was um, explains why it felt like that. So I obviously. This wasn't ju just from the fall off the bike, but um, obviously I think, I, like I think I, I dislocated this about 11 years ago playing rugby and probably injured it the odd, odd bit before that then as well. So obviously it's, it, it, it's an accumulation of the years of playing rugby and then the last straw then was, was that fall off the bike. Um, so I was worried that I'd left it too long because um, I was just reading about the super spinatus tendon had had retracted up in under the clavicle. So I was worried that, you know, I'd left it too long, that it would be hard to pull that back down and re reattach to 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 the um, he head of um my arm there. But obviously that was one of the what 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 was not the major worry. Um it turns out there's like nine screws in here to attach everything back together. Um and it's gonna be a slow process. Um Pain has not been awful, which has been excellent. It's definitely, it's been changing oh, each day. And um, I guess probably as stuff heals, fire, fires back up. It's sort of like, it's like, oh yeah, okay, that, that that's a little different. Um, sleeping ha has been good. I've been sleeping in the recliner here. Um, and I've been sleeping, you know, maybe j just wake up once or twice. And it's not usually because of pain. So I'm not having to wake up during the night and take the pain meds, which I'm delighted about. So I'm sort of starting to spread those out a little further then as well. And so I've been surprised actually how um, how the pain has been. So so that, that's that been good. In the mornings, all right, yeah, as I sort of change my positioning from sort of lying to vertical, it sort of gets a little sore. I think just probably uh, uh, as it repositions itself. But um, I was able to shower today, which was great. Um, and just let, let the arm dangle forward in the shower. It still sort of feels weird letting it do that after having had so much done, but it feels, it really feels secure and stable. 
Um, and I guess that the biggest thing is just not move, moving that up, up, upper arm. Is just keep keeping that fairly um, tight. So, so that's good. Um, but I'm just del I'm just delighted to be on, on this side of it now. And um, I go in and see my surgeon a week from tomorrow. So um, I know when I originally got my pre-shoulder surgery package, it was said, you know, physical therapy typically starts like the Monday after surgery. But he had said, no, it could be at least two weeks before they get that going. I think the big thing is now is just make sure everything is starting to knit back together and just take it slow. And I'm definitely I'm going to be super focused on that is just take it that, that, that slow. And I just want to work on, you know, is, is getting the, the strength back, you know. So basically, yeah, I'll, be, um, the, <laughs> I'll be the model patient just doing what needs to be done, playing the long game. I think it's super important. Um, I'm not sure, like, how long you'll end up sleeping in, in the recliner. It is comfortable, the um, how it, I guess the position keeps my shoulder in and stuff. So um, I'm not sure when. And probably will stay it through until meet with the surgeon and maybe then could migrate back to bed or and I guess maybe there's some kind of pillow or something I could probably use to keep it in a good position that's sort of more the that that that, that that's sort of that unknown stuff then you know it's sort of like I'm, I'm I'm feeling good now but hopefully there's no like sort of suddenly a backslide or um if you if you hold it in a certain position it could, could be more painful so I think yeah it's just more sort of this um taking it day by day and just taking it slowly um still off from work which is grand so i'm sort of answering some emails and stuff like like that but pretty much just um chilling and um, i have found like in the evenings now i get tired um, and i think that's probably just you know it's like as the anesthesia and um, wears out of the body and also then to just the body healing as well there there's a lot in there to knit back together so it all take, takes energy all right. So it's just, yeah, it's, um, so in the evenings I'm fine and I start to fade then all right. And I just go, go with it, but you know, all great. Delighted to be on day four slash five now. I'm just taking it day by day, you know. Um, so yeah, um, also anyone too, if you've been through this and the stuff you found that, that, that helps, please let me know would, would, would be great. It's sort of a new, a new, new journey for me and um yeah so onward and upward it's um it's great to be on this side of it and um yeah continuing focusing forward cheers